Oh, right, Refaction. Like I said on Twitter, if you saw it, and I, as I mentioned also in the video that was uploaded um, yesterday, where we looked over the twit and everything that we saw from special changes in the final shape to shader changes to <clears throat> how exotics are going to be earned and everything, we are going to be doing a weapon review for a weapon that is near and dear to my heart, even though I don't have one. Um, that I feel is going to be probably one of the best that you can get. Now, the handling, I would lose on this, but Arrowhead Break gives me better handling, it has better recoil control, I have extended mag, so I have like 64 rounds, Zen Moment with freaking Rampage. Of course, I'm using the light subclass, so I'm going to be getting more grenade energy so it's basically like having demolitionists on for this um steady rounds would make me lose but i would gain more reload speed and stability but i don't need that because i'm running a dexterity and loader which i could probably just run a loader let's just run the loader see what that's like on the ophidians so i have a benefit to airborne effectiveness and I can wep ready and reload my weapon very quickly. We're in high recub, high resilience, high this. We do have a matador in case we get anyone too close. But we are going to be trying this. We're starting from the baseline of zero. Because we want to see how it does in PvP. And I get to use my... I should probably use the bad omens. I only think I have one. Let's check. Because if, if I have a bad omens, this is going to be great. Um, but I don't think I do. I have a lot of other weapons. Yeah, uh, oh, I do have a bad omen. Here we go. Oh, and it's a lower... Let's just bring that up. It's locked. Why is it locked? Oh, probably because I was saving it. Okay. Well, that means I can use something else in that slot. Um, I don't think I have an exotic that is good for what I have. But again, I don't need to run an exotic. I don't know. We're going to hop into Iron Banner. And we are just going to see how this goes. Go and do control. We want to see how it is in Iron Banner. Then we'll hop into Clash and see how it is. But one of the things I will say, and I was watching um, a video from <clears throat> True Vanguard talking about kind of, you know, this weapon in particular. And I thought, wait a second, I have that. Let's see how this does. And it's my first ever weapon review, so if it's bad, well, I'm sorry. Well, we do have a couple others. We have th this we were using on uh, on Wednesday for a little bit. Um, this was like the first one we got. Uh, we have this that we can try at some point. We have Arrowhead. We have Steady Rounds. Head Seeker, Kill Club, we're running a, this because backup would only bring up to 51. And if I do this, it only goes up to 59. So. But this one I like for the range. Give me a little bit. Wow, that was a great first match. Well, thank you for nothing. Join the match in progress and instantly lose. Very good. <laughs> um, well, at least we got um. Uh, oh, you delete. I delete this too. Oh, so this is the this is the this is their drip. 
I'm kind of going with like how you would imagine, um, you know, this to look. Clearly, there's no shorts for the warlock, so I can't really show off the shorts I can hold. Um, I feel like the closest thing to like me is this. I feel like this is the closest we're gonna get to having a coyote freaking look in Destiny. I got, I got jacket the undershirt i got the facial markings i kind of got the arms <clears throat> hard to deal with ophidians but for the power let's get at her i am the lowest kd on my team and you're a 2.53 holy should have expected this will shape you into something stronger. Go. And they are not on my team. Captured zone A. Opponent claims zone C. Watch out for snipers. Oh, well, throw a knife kill. Hmm. So far, this thing feels really nice. I thought I got the burst into him. Not forgotten? Yeah, I can see someone pulling that out, actually. They mentioned it. It's, it's good. You're going to see a lot of, like, solar hand cannons. You know, surprisingly, I haven't seen, like, a Lunas. I've been seeing, like, Igneous Not Forgotten. Probably because everyone mentioned how... They're going to bring it back. I got to control my burst better. I wasn't used to like I'm not used to like the full auto ness of blast furnace. Be 
There's a Lunas. There you go. Yep, I saw that coming. <sighs> That's why I don't like well in PvP. It gives like people a sense of like they're too much forgiveness. If I can win, if I can win that one, I should be good for the other. If a hunter doesn't have a knife equipped on him, is he really hunting? Is, is that a Twinkie? Okay, let's see how we did with that first match. 13 kills. We got a couple kills with a shotgun. So about half of my kills were from Blast Furnace. I got one kill with my super. Couple kills with my shotgun. We were at 301. So you got four. 17. One with the super. And then probably some ability kills. Not a bad. Thir 13 kills with just this. And this is probably a roll. Not a lot of people would probably go for. <clears throat> They'd probably want it to be more stable. 
which I don't know if I can get with this. I can actually. 74. So this would give me 89, but I think I'm liking this more. Just got used to having the full auto on it because originally it didn't have it. I think the one thing that I, I'm like liking about this is once you get that like initial hit, <clears throat> you know, the flinch and the recoil are, you know, a lot better. You get a kill, you get this. The Rampage and PvP feels off, but I think as a weapon that is like meant for, you know, just chaining kills together. Rampage feels better than Kill Clip. Honestly. Even with the Rampage nerf to PvP. We had a 1.77. Homeboy dropped a 4.2. These guys, you know. This guy was doing very well. I'll give him that. He was doing very well. But he doesn't have my season pass rank. <laughs> Probably just, like, really started grinding once he heard, like, the weapons that are coming back. Oh, that was a good first match. I really like this rule so far. It's just, I gotta get used to, you know, controlling it. Um, once I'm in everything. I am running a lot of kinetic targeting, so. The double loader helps, I think. Especially considering how low the reload speed is. Which, if we did steady rounds, we would just lose. Um. Sorry, what? And now, fight. Okay, that was weird. I was like, did you really just put me in a match? Like, huh? Met and then conditional. You got put over here. This is so spawn. Okay. So is that one guy.
Yeah, he's just gonna hide up there. And let everyone else protect him. Which I think is a very boring way of playing. Zone B lost. Team there. Everyone just pulling out this. Oh. Uh. Zone B captured. Two zones are yours. Oh, these people make me laugh. Five minutes left. Sound tactics so far. Sound tactics, they're literally just staying in their spawn. Conditional. Yeah, I right know there. Uh, solar healing grenade hunters. Make me laugh. You're just gonna hide there with disparity? Come on, bro. Oh, if it wasn't for the f <sighs> warlock rift. Three minutes remain. Keep the pressure, and you have them. Like they took two shotgun bolts just to get them low enough. You have the advantage. Press on. Lost. 
To each their own when it comes to weapons they want to play. But I, I like my pulse rifles. And have a blast baby back? Oh yeah. He's gonna go right to his corner again. Midas. You know, like when pulses beat hand cannons, the hand cannons go to scout rifles because scout rifles can keep us in line. That's no fun. How do you have fun like that? Let's see. We're at 13 and now we're at 20. We got very little kills there. Hmm. Okay. Uh. And less kills that time. See, this is more my KD. I feel like that, that you know... The scout rifles held me down, and the guy switched to the disparity, which I think has a better... You can craft it to get, like, a better roll with better stats, whereas, like, with Blast Furnace, you have to get, like, the standard roll. Oh, just me. I like this. I like this pulse rifle a lot. Like, we haven't even grabbed heavy. This gives us double, um, this will allow us to get better, a better kill, a better aim assist, or once we do get the kill, all we gotta do is do a reload and we get this. Okay, right, we got steady rounds. You know, we don't we don't have the rampage, so we don't need to have, you know, so much things in their mag. We just have to secure a kill. Everyone puts void in their as their clan thing. Down. 
Luna's Hollow. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. I do like the whole one kill worth of stuff. We'll do this. We'll knock that down a little bit. The extended make would help our kill chain. Right, Nick. Okay, nice. his rifle. Okay, cool. They all pushed and I come out and instantly got to deal with this boy. Same spot. Wells on here. I should have thrown it, like, right into the corridor, but, like, I had to deal with that frickin' silk strike. See how it does with like if I can just make sure I can secure a kill. Oh, 
There's always the two. There's always like another one there trying to really mess you up when you do this. I just wish I didn't have like. There's always that, there's always like one person that will just like, they'll find a spot and it's like, yeah, no one's going to think to think, to look here. And then you die and you're like, um, why are you just sitting there? I wish there was more crossfire. I feel better for using this. Could have gone better. Defeat only stops you if you let it. The iron battle is mm. always open. Yeah, I actually, um, we played like three matches so far in like 25 because that last match was kind of a wash. Do another one. I think we're going to stick with, um, we're actually going to go to Clash. Um, to see how this better does an actual, like, kill based thing instead of doing, like, Iron Banner. As much as I love Iron Banner, there are some clear issues with, um, things. Or it might just be because of, like, how f much of a fluctuation my rank in KD are Okay. Now, if we really wanted to be like a D Gen. I could throw on this that we have. Should we be that guy? Should we do, uh, I never used this gun because I never had it. But this isn't a last, this isn't a Luna showcase.
Okay. Well, wow. it looks like we won't be able to get any more um, stuff because apparently Clash doesn't want me to play. Uh, so, with that being said, before this video gets way too long, um, let me just say this. Uh, this roll right here, if it was stability for the masterwork, right? Because you got to think, we got to take 10 off. So, this would be a 79 range. If we brought that into the stability, I think it would be really good. So, like, if it was basically, like, here, I think this could be a very lucrative role to go for, you know? Especially if you have the extended mag. Just having that, like, extra bump to the stability would improve this drastically. So this, like this, this is a 4 out of 5. The range is nice, but stability is better. Um, arrowhead break for, you know, handling, and then extended mag for that. You just run reloaders. If you're a warlock, you run Ophidians. If you really want to, like, not have to worry about all that, you could probably do, like, what would be a good thing so I don't mess up my stats too much. You could run kind of something like this. You could run Traverse Steps. You have a buff Sprint. You have, you know, after a short time sprinting, your currently equipped weapon is automatically reloaded. This allows you to have, you know, something kind of like, you know, you can run Dexterity mods then. Because then you'll just be running. So this opens up, you know, having all that. Now, mind you, we have to, you know, we have to see what kind of, you know, this other stuff looks like. I think this is the best one. Um, you're kind of going to want to have, like, something that allows you to passively reload while running. So that when you do get into engagements, all you gotta do is like run back to reload. This makes having, you know, the backup mag and the extended mag not be kind of more useful. Whereas Affinians is probably one of the best for that. When you do have eventually have to reload, you just have to run. So I think that would probably be something for you all to see, try out, have fun. We tried it with Ophidians. It works pretty well. Um, we only got about 25 kills within the couple matches we played. We did run into a lot of scout rifles, so that's the only downside to this. But I think when you get those fights where you don't really have to worry about <clears throat> things like scout rifles or rapid fire weapons, if you're just having like a one off with a hand cannon or another pulse rifle, this weapon is very good for that. It's very good for that, and I really enjoy the fact that it's back. Bungie, great work on this. I think um, I'll work on the video tonight, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to try using both of these together. Now, I know it's a hand cannon. You know the Dredgen Lord doesn't do hand cannons. But I never tried this weapon before in the original state of D2, so I don't know how it feels. So... Dredgen Lord's first time using Lunas. <sighs> Maybe we'll get some magnific magnificent howls. Who knows? With that being said, Red Faction. Hope you guys... This really, this weapon review really wasn't like a big thing. I just wanted to show off that this is a very good pulse rifle. And it has a lot of very good rolls. Um, if you, you know, like... You know, you can do Headseeker, Rampage... You know, my only issue is this needs to be arrowhead break, and this needs to be the ex the extended mag. This would be a really good roll if you want to make sure you consistently get those kills. If you want kills, like you're you're just trying to go for like three v three kills, this could be very good, v very good for you. If you are someone that is, you know, like this role right here, if this was Rampage, maybe it could be good. But then again, this is also not that. So this brings this more in line. 
you know, if I wanted to have uh, a backup mag, that way kill clip would last maybe a little bit longer. This is a roll for it as well. This is another roll we can probably try on at some point. Maybe we'll we'll do, you know, this with Luna's tomorrow. We'll see. But, Red Faction, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you tomorrow for that, that video that we're going to do. And with that being said, I hope you all have a good one. Enjoy your weekend. Go outside, cut some grass. I know we're Destiny players, but you can do it. And if I don't see you in another video, I will see you on Sunday. That will be the second to last Sunday stream for a good couple months. Um, I say second to last because after Mother's Day, I'll probably stream for a little bit after I get home from doing what we got to do on that day. But with that being said, I hope you guys bring some disorder to this weekend because that's just what we do in the order. See you next time.